Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at a Cine slider by Pro Aim, and it is one of the best flecking sliders I've ever used. Yes, this is the Fly King slider from Pro Aim. They come in different lengths. Uh, this is the four foot, there's a three foot and a two foot available. Um, it has a Mitchell mount on both the bottom of the slider and on the head that you attach it to. I don't have a Mitchell mount. I have a 100 mil ball head from Benro. So I got a converter, which is, you know, pretty easy to adapt. The thing that I couldn't work out how to adapt without spending, you know, five or $600 was the Mitchell mount on the bottom of the tripod. I would prefer to mount a slider this long at both ends. So on this side, I have the rest of this tripod, the Benro BVX. And on this side, I have my old um, stills tripod. Mounting a four foot slider on both ends is much more secure than putting in the middle. It means when the weight goes from one side to the other, you don't risk having the whole thing tip over. I really like this flecking slider. It is much more stable than some of the ones I've reviewed in the past. This guy is made out of steel, quite a lot of it. The capacity is 70 kilos or 154 pounds, which means you can put an entire cine rig camera style on top of it and then weight it down with sandbags if you choose to get nice slow pans and um, tilts and moves. It is very smooth, um, ball bearing mounted. It has a spring-loaded little bounce in the either end of the slider carriage, so that when you get when the slider gets to the end, it you know compresses and then bounces back. You don't get a hard stop, which can lead to things toppling off and uh, put strain on your camera. DSLR sliders are great, and I've owned a bunch of them. Um, if you're using time lapse or you're using some kind of um, you know small little shot on the ground just to get some depth. They're amazing for what they are. They're very transportable, they're light. They won't work for a camera this size or larger. I mean, the C200 is probably the smallest um, digital uh, cinema camera um, of this quality. They go up from here. So this is like five or six pounds. You can get cameras that are much beefier, like 30 and 40 pounds. By the time they have all the stuff on them, they're like 60 pounds. You know, we're still way under capacity of the 150 pounds of this slider, but it just means that you don't get, um, as you're sliding, you don't get um, forward and backward motion as you try and pan and tilt. You don't get shake. You don't, you're not worried that this thing is gonna drop and you know, crack a lens. I've used this slider for panning movements, for you know, circle pans. You're using the tripod head to um, slide as you pan counter to the direction of the slide. This gets used a lot in interviews. It's a great way to show the world moving around a subject that's staying in the same place. Another thing that this is great for is push-ins. If I put the camera this way and push in on my subject, because the camera is so high above the rails, even on a wide lens, you won't see the rails in the shot, which is great. This thing isn't light. Uh, you will definitely be paying um, for it as a piece of luggage if you decide to ship it. There are options to um, buy it with a flying case, but the one I got was is soft packed and is you know doesn't add any weight, which is great. Seems really secure. Uh, you could definitely drop this a couple of feet and wouldn't have a detrimental effect on the slider. It has a cool locking mechanism on the back so that you can lock its position. And then, you know, two people can grab the slider and move it with the camera on. I would suggest that you don't try that. And anytime you're going to move a slider, you know, take your $10,000 plus piece of equipment off the slider before you want to move it. Um, but in a pinch, if you just, you know, a couple of inches too close or too far, you can always just shift it around while keeping the camera where it needs to be. To summarize, this is a great flecking slider. It's flecking smooth. The name is great. I get a lot of mileage out of that. It is a really great way to get very professional shots with a large payload. Um, this four foot cost $800. The equivalent um, of some other brands for a similar kind of product is like three grand and up. So if you want to um, get into this space with a you know, very usable um, slider, this is a really great option to check out. Thanks very much for watching. That is my review of the Flyking Slider. Check out the links for the description, leave your questions in the comments, and I will see you next time.